know there's a lot of halloumi enthusiasts out there, so I thought I'd oblige and make you a delicious salad with halloumi and pear. They work so well together, and to give it some extra flavour, I'm going to be grilling it. Now I've got to heat up the grill, so I'm going to put it on manual mode to get it nice and hot. While that's heating up, we can prepare the pears. So I've got some Burr Bosque pears. I love these. They're fantastic in the autumn and winter seasons. When you're choosing your pears, for grilling in particular, you don't want them to be too soft. You can see that these are quite firm. And as I cut them, see how crispy they sound? They are perfect for texture for this salad. Now I'm going to take the core out. So we'll just cut just down to the base, just like that. And we want to keep them in their quarters just for presentation reasons. Okay, I've also just left the stalk on here and I don't mind that because it just looks fantastic at the end. So into a bowl and I'll get another pear prepared. So again, cutting straight down and then in half. Now halloumi goes with so many different types of fruit. You could also do this with figs if they're in season. Grapes work really nicely with it too. Now you want to work quite fast here because you don't want the pears to start to oxidise and brown. We want to keep that beautiful colour. So we want to get them straight in there. And before I get the halloumi done, just a good glug of olive oil over the pears. And now for the halloumi. So halloumi is an unripened brined cheese made famous from the Cypriot region. And what I love about it is it's got that really nice saltiness and it holds its shape when it's grilled. So we're going to cut it into about one to two centimetre slices. Now make sure you use a really good quality halloumi uh, when you're making a salad that showcases it just like I am here. You want to use a halloumi that is actually from Cyprus or from Greece because the flavour is so much better. You develop a nice crust on it. So we're going to place that straight into the bowl. Now some more extra virgin olive oil. And a good crack of pepper. I'm not adding any salt to this because the halloumi is salty enough. And you could use oregano, but I'm lucky enough to have some lemon thyme. So I'm just going to snip a few sprigs off my little tree here. And I'm going to just take off the leaves and pop them straight into this. All right, that's plenty. Now I'm going to get my hands in here and give that a good toss. So everything is coated in the olive oil. Okay, let's grill the halloumi. So I'm just going to line it up on the grill and some pears and we'll just alternate it because I think it looks fabulous like that. And I can squeeze all of this on the one grill. Now the lid can go down and I'm going to grill this for about five minutes. I'll check it halfway through just to make sure we're getting those lovely grill marks. Now while that's starting to grill, let's get on to a quick dressing. You can see there's some olive oil and some brine there. That's okay because that's going to give it some flavour and save the washing up. We're going to add some Dijon mustard to this. So about a teaspoon. You can use some whole grain mustard too. And we'll whisk that in. And I'll just get a grater, a fine grater like this. And we'll add the zest of half a lemon. This lemon goes so well with the halloumi. So I want to use not only the zest, but also some of the juice. So we'll cut that in half. And then a good squeeze of that in there. That's a juicy lemon. I'm just catching all the seeds with my hand so we don't have any of those seeds in our dressing. And now we need sweetness. So we'll add some honey and you can see it'll start to thicken up too. Fabulous. And now to bring the whole thing together, a good splash of extra virgin olive oil. Now let's start layering the salad with some radicchio. I love this radicchio. It's got a beautiful colour. So I've just washed the leaves, separated them, and then I'm breaking them up and placing them on the plate. It does have quite a dominant flavour, so I just want a small layer. And look at that purple against that blue plate. Just gorgeous. Now for some fennel. You can see this fennel has some fronds. I'm just going to pick those fronds off. That's flavour and it also looks fantastic. So I'll use that for the garnish. I'll cut that in half. Just going to move that bowl out of the way. Take the tops off. And then just finely slice it with a sharp knife. 
perfect. That's all I need for this recipe. Then we'll scatter that in and around the radicchio and we'll add the fronds. Just break them up and scatter it over. I'll add some dressing now and I'll add some more when we add the halloumi and the pears. So we'll just mix that one more time and then just a few spoonfuls over the top just to flavour the radicchio. Okay, now for some crunch walnuts that I've toasted. We'll just break them up and pop them over. Some big chunks, some smaller chunks. All right, this halloumi is smelling fantastic. Let's have a look. Wow, look at that. See how fast that is cooked. We've got those beautiful char marks on the halloumi. You know the halloumi is ready when we've got the beautiful crust and when it's quite soft. So I can feel that that's soft inside. Because the radicchio can handle the heat, we can place the pears and the halloumi directly onto the salad. So in and around, just pop all of that straight onto the salad. So I'm just sort of tucking it under some of the leaves. This is a really generous salad. Pop a nice big chunk there and that last little pear can sit there. All right, last drizzle of our mustard and honey dressing over the top. And I like to finish it off with some freshly cracked pepper. That is one gorgeous salad. It's a feast for the eyes, but it's also a feast for the appetite. Absolutely delicious. That combination of salty halloumi, sweet pears that have got a slight smokiness from the grill. I love this salad and I think you're going to love it too.